Hello, welcome to my game pass notes, keys to the game for Wild Card Weekend. We have the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So in this game, I think the biggest question comes down to the quarterback and the defense. So quarterbacks, Matt Moore starting for the Miami Dolphins after having a three starts for a passer rating of 106.5. Pretty good. We've seen him do pretty good stuff. But we have Ben Roethlisberger with a passer rating of 116.5. I think I trust Ben Roethlisberger more than I do the Miami Dolphins quarterback. The defense though is the biggest question. For the Miami Dolphins with a leading um, which leads the NFL in yards per carry, 4.8. Yeah, that, that is not good. And then while the, the, the defense for the Steelers, 4.3, tied for 18. That's, uh, it's a big question on which defense will, will, will be better, but I think it'll come down to the big three, Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and Le'Veon Bell. I think that team has is better suited to win this game. Obviously, we saw the Miami, the Miami Dolphins beat the Pittsburgh Steelers earlier this season, but was it 30 to 15? I think this time the Steelers are prepared for whatever comes their way. I think they're mentally prepared. I think their game plan is much more better now. They know who they're gonna face. I think they're gonna come out on top in this game. Good luck to the Miami Dolphins though. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to see them beat them, but I don't. I don't buy it. In the next game, we have the New York Giants at the Green Bay Packers. In this, my, in my key component game, I think it'll come down to Odell Beckham Jr., Eli Manning for the New York Giants in their defense, while for the Green Bay Packers, it'll come down to the, uh, Aaron Rodgers and their defense. So for the New York Giants, they've had a problem throughout the whole season on winning and losing games. They have an iffy on each side of the portion of the field. And I think the biggest strength is Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. The combo, the combination of their plays can cause a lot of frustration for the other team, for the opposing team. But the biggest weakness is Eli Manning, who has thrown 16 interceptions, which is the most in the NFL this season. But wow, for the Green Bay Packers, in the last six games, going 6-0, running the table to win the NFC North. 40 touchdowns for Aaron Rodgers throughout the whole season. It's pretty amazing. Um, if he wins MVP, uh, it'll be probably because of that, but uh, who knows about that. Anyways, I think it'll all come down to, again, the defense. I like to think about the defense winning games for teams because it, it'll show more confidence as you go, as they progress through the season. And so, I think for me, the biggest weakness for the for the Green Bay is also having allowing 95.9 uh, passer rating for opposing quarterbacks. So if Eli Manning can control his uh, turnover uh, ratio in this game, I don't see I don't have any problem of them winning the game. Possible that they can win the game. I think also Eli Manning has to throw. You know they have to commit to their receivers, different receivers at different times. You can't always go to uh, Odell Beckham Jr. You gotta pick your pieces on, on when to throw to him. Um, I think that the, the Giants wide receivers can cause a lot of trouble for the for the Green Bay Packers defense. So it'll be exciting to see. So who wins this game? Um, it's a toss up. I think, I'm, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Green Bay Packers since they're at home. It's gonna be exciting to see in this matchup. So, if you guys hadn't already seen my previous video on the on this on the, on the Saturday's uh, wild card games, go check them out. Uh, this has been my Game Pass notes, the game, and I'll see you guys soon.